Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing turn-based fantasy strategy game Eador, Masters of the Broken World. You can see the broken world in the background. Uh, this is a sequel to Eador Genesis, a game that was originally released in Russia a while ago. Uh, and basically it's a lot of the same game, but it's been uh, improved in several areas. Uh, so we'll take a look at it. As you can see here, there's a campaign, which basically offers a set of different maps like this, you can see here, uh, where each map unlocks a new set of buildings and units. Uh, it's really long because it takes a while to beat each, beat each individual map, and then it, there's tons of maps to choose from. There's also custom skirmish games, which is what I'm going to do in the video. And there's also online multiplayer, where you can play against people, although the games will last so long that I don't know if that's really a viable option or not. So we'll just jump into a custom game and make a new shard. Uh, which is basically a map. I'm going to do a three-player map. Uh, there are a couple options here. First off is difficulty. Uh, my primary complaint with the game is the difficulty level, although uh, that may be partially due to my what I think you're supposed to do strategically and what you're actually supposed to do. So I'm going to start out on skill. That seems to be the most fair uh, difficulty level, and I'm going to put the uh, other heroes on competent, the people that I'm competing against. You can customize the map size, it chooses all the tiles randomly, and you can actually do little initial conditions, which determines what type of resources you get. Uh, but I'm just going to put it on default for this. And you can also do settings for all the different uh, world creation stuff, and I'll just put it on the default settings there too. And away we go. Uh, basically, the object of the game is to capture. Uh, a lot of territory and then defeat all of your opponents by taking their stronghold. So when you start out you don't have any units, you just have one province, your capital city, uh, and then it's your job to hire a hero to lead units and then go out into the world and expand your empire and be able to uh, take down your opponents. So you can see here is your uh, primary city right here uh, and it's surrounded by uh, various uh, you know, neutral but hostile uh, settlements that you can capture and then basically expand out over time. Uh, job number one is to hire a hero. I'm going to start this game by doing a scout, which is basically a ranged unit. So there we go. Uh, when you hire a hero, they automatically get a couple units, but I'm going to give him one extra unit to make him a little bit more viable. Uh, so, in order to do that, I need to start building. What you can do as you can construct in your province your stronghold uh, and you can actually later on build kind of basic buildings in other provinces but most of these are going to be in your province and you see there's different categories of it there's basic upgrades there's things for happiness and magic and resources and military units uh, and uh, items and stuff like that so uh, you can also toggle to the full this is the full tech tree um, uh, initially very confusing, but it does list everything. You can actually search for things by text. So, you know, all these things have Hall in the name, for example. Uh, what I need, I'd like to get Barbarians, although that makes me a little bit less light. Actually, I want Swordsman. That's what I really want. So you click on the Swordsman. It shows I need this first. That's what the red means. And then the blue means that this is required for that. So I'm going to construct that first. And then I'm going to get my swordsman second. And then once I get the swordsman, then I'm going to actually start heading out. Um, initially, what threw me in this game is I want to expand right away. And I don't think the game really wants you to do that. What I think it wants you to do is explore your initial province and then while you're exploring, visit these locations to level up your hero. And when leveling up your hero not only makes him more adept at uh, combat, but it also allows you to have better and higher level units under your command, which will make it easier eventually to expand out into the surrounding region. So it took me a, quite a long time to figure out that that's kind of what they want you to do. Most of these guys are going to be too difficult to defeat uh, from the get-go. In fact, almost all these centaurs, there's no way. That uh, is more of a shop. Uh, the Lost Souls, I'm sure, is going to be, but probably from the descriptions, the best things are going to be these goblins. So I'm just going to enter the goblins. Luckily, 
as you'll see when I do the turn here. Uh, it tells you, uh, there you go, if I do win, I'll be very surprised. That's basically telling you don't do a retreat. So the problem I was having initially is basically I was retreating <laughs> from every single battle and then not being able to do anything at the beginning of the game. Uh, so there we go. So now I have at least some more stuff. So I'm going to try to do the elves. We'll see what the elves says. And if that doesn't say anything, then I'm going to try to expand out a little bit. So foolish to attack. The forces are uneven, so I can't do that either. So this is what I mean. The initial difficulty is way unbalanced. All of these options, which are intended to level up your hero, I can't actually win. It would be a waste of my time and a waste of resources raising my army back up if I were to do any of them. So what I'm going to have to do is tr the second thing, which is try to expand out. So I'm going to look for the one with the most resources, which is this one. So I'm going to take my guys and go over there and hope that uh, it'll say that the... Um, you know, the engagement is uh, reasonable for my troops. You really have no other alternatives. That's the only way of doing it. While that's going on, I'm going to try to improve my uh, buildings here. So I'm going to go with the crossbowman. I like that guy. And I need to build the workshop first, so I'll construct that. And then I'll queue up the crossbowman for next round. And then you can have higher level units like another good one are these uh, the guardsmen here, but you can see there's a lot more prerequisites for those uh, and whatnot. So uh, here we go. Start expanding out. Now, if I can't defeat this, see what it says. I stand no chance at all. So retreat. Uh, basically, I can construct that though. Um, I'm just going to explore. Uh, and hope I can hit something that I'll be able to beat. The problem with exploring, when you encounter things while you're exploring the same turn, it doesn't tell you whether you're able to defeat them, so you just kind of have to base it. Like, here's Ancient Ruins. It says there's five goblins. Now, could I defeat five goblins? I don't know. It won't tell you. But what you can do is you can retreat, and then next turn you can actually try to enter that. So there's my Ancient Ruins with the goblins. So we'll try to enter that. Because I don't, it's, it's really, it's really, really expensive to, um, there we go. So here I would be able to defeat them. So now we can attack. Um, you know, I have no idea. And it's so expensive to, your hero doesn't die, but you have to pay a lot of money to resurrect them. And I just don't want to do that. So we'll go to attack here. And then when you attack, you go into a little turn-based battle right here. Uh, you can see their initial positions and hopefully... The prediction will be correct, and I won't be totally screwed. So, away we go. You can click once to speed everybody up. Alright, so I'm going to use my hero to attack him at range. He needs to move up and attack him. There you go, and move him up. And that's my turn. The AI in the tactical battles is good about picking on vulnerable units. Occasionally they'll throw people a light out like that, but he doesn't really have a choice where they'll just die. Alright, so try to take him out. Yeah, he's gonna kill him. There you go. Can he he can hit him a little bit. He can hit him a little bit. Alright. Uh, tactical battles get interesting when you have a lot of varied troops on the, on the, you know, on the field. May kill. He does kill. That's good. May kill. Please do. Awesome. Okay, this is going very well. So that prediction was correct. Usually the prediction's correct. He's out of range, though, so I'm going to put these guys over here. And wait for him to come on over and shoot him before he gets here. Yeah, he's screwed. The most annoying units are really powerful ranged units that the enemy has. They can be a real, real pain. Yeah, you're dumb. He caused no damage and got killed. But, you know, nothing else you can do, so... Well, there you go, that was a very good battle. 
Uh, so, what am I going to do? I'm going to increase my hit points, then you get some gold. And there you go. Uh, so, that's basically how you, you start out initially. Uh, so, let me see. What do I want to do? I think I already got that. What do I want to get? Next. Pikeman? Yeah, I'll probably do Pikeman, actually. Yeah, so that's built. And one more low-level building. Spearman. Do that. Do that next turn. That'll be my low-level buildings. I don't really use healers or anything like that. Uh, the interface is okay. Uh, you can see here when you click on it, you have this little circular menu that tells you what you can do. Um, you can visit stores and equip your guy with more weapons. Although I have the basic weapons here, actually, that would probably be the next thing I upgrade, is try to upgrade his weapons, his bows, and his armor a little bit for range attack. Um, so, you know, you saw the Explore Province, so I'll explore it some more. You can also visit the locations, so you can plunder it on the way you want to plunder your, <laughs> you know, province that you own, but... Uh, you can study spells, although I haven't done any spells yet because I have to get the library, which is another thing I can get. Uh, saying all these things that I know I'm going to forget. So what do I want to do? I want to get weapons like that. Alright, so I need to get the Carpenter's Guild and the Granary and the Farmer's Market before I get that. Alright, so that's that. I don't really have... Sure. And then we'll queue this one up last. And then we'll aim for the carpenter's shop. Alright, so what are you doing? You explore some more. Please. Please do. Ruin tower, examine, four giant slugs, no thank you. I shall construct that. Uh, as you fight battles, your units will level up. You, you see the experience here. I'm almost at the next level. Uh, same thing with these units down here. That shows their level right there. Uh, the little number. And units also reheal uh, over time. Uh, let me try to get this province again. I'm gonna just going to kind of walk around and see if I can get any of these adjacent provinces yet. I stand no chance at all. Uh, negotiate usually means you can tell, pay them money. Yeah. 360 gold. Uh, which I don't have. Because I'm spending it on buildings. There's your little balance down there. I don't have any special resources. <sighs> two and a one and a two. These rest of these provinces are really, really bad. Some of it's your luck because it's randomly generated terrain. Some of it's luck with starting position. Oh, good. I will easily defeat this enemy. Yeah, I kind of wish they would surround your initial province with more easily defeatable stuff, uh, but they don't. One thing you can do is actually automate combat, which is what I'm going to do for this battle by pressing F10. There you go. I did lose my militia men out of it, but he was weak and crappy, so it doesn't really matter. There you go. He leveled up, so he... You don't get to choose what its parameter is. I think it's, like, preset. Uh, I'm going to give you an archery upgrade. Uh, range defense. Construct. All right, so I can go back to my province and get a new guy. This has horses, doesn't it? Ooh, and it's very good. These are some good provinces over here once I get an army big enough to defeat them. All right, you need to be explored, so I'm going to explore you. That's what this little thing means. It's overpopulated, so you have to explore to help its expansion. So I got a good foot in the door. With an additional province, Ruin Tower, examine four goblins. I could take that. Goblins are pretty weak. All right. Come on over, goblins. I'm going to take you out. Is that out of your range? 
chat is. All right. Hopefully, I'll be able to take you out. See, hopefully, he'll kill him. Okay, good. Spend my arrows on somebody else. Yeah, you're dumb. Go die now. You're dumb too. Go die too. Make my job a lot easier. Alright, let's see if I can take these guys out. Take them out, please. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. So now I got more health. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, stamina. Pairing. Give him a reward. And you get some gold. This is a good way to earn a lot of gold, is by doing missions. Uh, what am I building here? Carpenter skill? What does it do? See, I don't even need that yet. Let me remember that. I'd rather actually get the library so I can do spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, what did I say? Carpenters. I'm going to put that in like slot 3. Alright, and then I can start picking some spells to do. This is like... Basic stuff. Slow. Curse. I don't really want... I'm going to try to stay good this round. Dispel. That's still like the first one. So I'll queue that up next. Alright, I'll get me some spells. Alright, head on back and then learn some spells, hopefully. Whenever I get the money to afford them. Although I do need to explore that province some more. 220, I got 71, and I'm going to spend some more right now, anyway. Swordsman Slinger. Do a pikeman go back and explore explore I know how much money am I earning per turn anyway probably not enough <laughs> yeah like five that's why you got to do the the quests early on Because you get like no income. Ancient ruins. Two Medusa. Screw that. No thanks. Uh, let's visit locations. No, all I got here is Medusa. All right, what do I got surrounding me? This is probably going to be very difficult, but I'm going to try it anyway. Because you don't know until you try. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, let's try this one. I'm just going to go in a circle and see if I can get any of these other ones. I do like it tells you before battle whether you're likely to win. Yeah, that one's closer, but still not there. So I need... <laughs> I need the gold to get better units, but I need better units to get the gold. That's the problem. So you really have to rely on uh, doing quests uh, before you can get more provinces. That's the problem. Nope. I have a feeling that that's going to be the same way everywhere. There's no way I'm getting the Medusas. So let me go back to my main province see if there's something else I can do. Uh, to level up. So, 
compared to Genesis, uh, basically multiplayer and better graphics and a better interface just because of higher resolution. It's really the, a lot of the rest of the game is very, very similar. I can do goblins. Do I need units? No, I don't. I can take out some goblins. Maybe. Yep. I'm just going to automate this one. Very good. 99 gold. That'll work. And you get experience too, which is helpful. Uh, slugs, let's try the elves. I think the elves are going to be too strong, but what are you going to do? Oh yeah, I can learn some spells first. What is that? Five stamina. And you can queue up the same spell more than once. Uh, so my guy is ranged. It's a good thing. So we'll enter that building. To have spells since he's a ranged guy anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so... No, no, no. So basically there's nothing I can do there. So... Let's try to find some other... I think I tried that one before. I'm sure I'm not strong enough for that. It's just one. Right, let's try these other locations. A lot of the initial game is just luck. F getting locations that you can beat with a very basic army. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect! Although uh, this makeup stuff isn't quite inviting, but... Uh, let's see. I think this is what I want here. Alright, can I do some spells? Four damage. Kapow. Yeah. I don't know how this is going to work here. I always pick on pick on the most vulnerable. He has nine health. Let's do it from that direction. And I got cursed. Yeah, kill him. Shoot him. Go over there. Yeah, <sighs> engine's just so annoying. I need to take him out though. He's poisoned too, so he's gonna keep losing health. Okay. Get closer. Yeah, zero. Take that and you die. Boom. All right, I can. It's another four. Uh, too far. I can lob something to that guy though. They do have limited ammo, the uh, ranged units, but the battles are usually quick enough for that never becomes an issue. All right, who should I? All right, I'm gonna kill him. There you go. And he'll kill him. Perfect. A winner is me. No losses. Good command. That's what I want. So I can get a new unit. Uh, yeah. Let's do initiative. Yeah, let's do hit points. Do hit points. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. And I can explore this too. And then I'll go back and get a new unit. After I explore it up. And that guy has redwood. I want the redwood. I do, I do. Uh, oh. I have no idea.
I have no idea. I'm just going to automate this because I think I'm going to die. Oh, no, I actually won. Except I lost my slinger and a pikeman, but it could be worse. And I got some gold out of it. And I got a spell scroll. Well. And I got a... Ugh. Ooh, and I got... I got a lot of stuff in that. That was actually really good. I bet I can construct that now. All right, let's go back and rearm. Uh, let's see, what do I want next? Carpenter's Guild. See, that's why I want the redwood, because it gives you more stuff from redwood, and then I want that to get more weapons for him. I can sell that sword I got, too, which is what I plan on doing, because I don't need it, because I'm ranged. That would have been a really good thing to get. Uh, if it was a melee guy. Alright, gotta calculate. What do I want? What do I have? I have a swordsman. I want to get a crossbowman. And... Let's see, this is 6'8", he's 6'7". 18 health. Yeah, they're basically the same thing. That guy's a lot cheaper, though. I uh, still kind of like him, though. So that would be once... I think I can afford all this now. So I don't want to pay the upkeep if I don't have to. There we go. All right, we're going to go explore some more, and then we're going to go after this redwood, and hopefully we'll be strong enough to do it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Explore! Until that little pitchfork disappears. Explore! Up, oh, disappeared. Okay. Alright. Try it out. See what we get. I'd really like to have that wood. So give me a lot of more income. Technically, that would be foolish. Oh, awesome. Awesome. That's luck. Lucky, lucky. Alright, what do I want to do here? God, the terrain is terrible, though. I'm just going to stick down here. Ranged in the back, please. Alright. Magic, 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 magic. You guys are going to be coming from a long way. They got a lot of units, but they're all weak. Alright. Take this guy out, definitely. You can almost get rid of him. That's pretty much all I can do. Ah, uh, they got... Guys throwing spears. Still should be able to take him out though. Four six six eight five seven. They're all kind of the same. him up. Ah, stinking slingers. And they all have double shot. Part of what's unfair is that they start out with like high level units and you start out with like basic units. It's just real slow starting out most of the time. 
Come on. Keep walking. Yeah, I know. You have a double shop. You're annoying the crap out of me. I know. Alright. Yeah, kill him. I have clearly superior troops. So I'm gonna lose this guy. I'm sure he's my like high level. God, so unfair. He's my high level guy. I'm sure. Like I said, the AI is good at attacking vulnerable troops. I'm going to pull him out, although I think it's going to be too late. Try to get him out of the range of the slinger. No, it's too close. Too close. Kill? Kill shot. Yep. Alright, slinger time. This guy's gonna die trying to get over there. Luckily, slingers are crap. But they're so annoying. Yeah, please kill. All right, one more turn, that'll do it. Yeah, I lost the one guy, though. Ah, uh, Swamp. I hate you, Swamp. There we go. All right, took him out. Boom. Okay, good. He was just level zero. Got more command. That's good. Increase my range attack. Increases attack, increases hit points. All right, we're okay. There's like a lot of events like that. How much is this? One seventy-eight. All right. So redwood. Even though this tooltip says you have no access to this resource, I think it's lying because I actually do have access right there. All right. Go back over here and explore, and then go back home and get more units. And then we'll start seeing if there's any other territories we can get in. If not, we're going to start leveling up. Yeah, I'm well aware. I need more income. I need monies. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that made it disappear. I know, because I'm only getting nine a turn. I need to do more quests. Go back to the Redwood area, too. Uh, I always do that, because I never use those things. Alright. Yeah, we got a level two slot now. All right, what do I want to do? I'm ranged. I have another ranged two melee. I think I'm going to do a crossbowman. And... Pikeman. But I don't have enough money for that yet, so I'll wait a turn. Yeah, I think we'll do crossbowman pikeman. Oh yeah, let me just explore. Since I'm waiting, might as well not waste a turn. Six skeletons. We can take care of that. Skeletons are easy. We'll even simulate it. Victory. Oh good. Two more people dead. Awesome. That was totally not worth 11 gold. Oh, I got 174 here. That's still not worth it. At all. But I can't construct my building now. Alright, let's get some more loot. I need some stuff. I'm going to sell this. Let's 
six four four. That's what I want, buddy. That's what I want. Yeah. I'm gonna be a bad, bad man now. Cool. All right, I like it. Don't have any money to hire any more troops, but just gotta wait some turns here. So if I find anything, I'm not gonna engage. So I have no troops left. Uh, no. I don't care what it is. I'm just gonna continue until I can afford some troops. All right, math. Time for math. God, I need four more troops. At least my f level four guys there. This is going to take a while to level up. So I'm just going to keep... I'm going to sit here. Actually, what I should do is go to that red one and just explore and not engage. That's what I'll do. That's what we'll do. Since we're waiting. And then by the time I get back, I'll be able to afford those troops I need. Take some more land, get some more gold. That's the plan, anyway. Take another turn. Uh, sure. I don't need that stuff, anyway. Those little events basically determine whether you're good or evil, which influences your troops morale and stuff more so at the end of the game than the beginning all right explore stick you on explore until it's ready I like the background, how it shows like it's actually floating shards and stuff. Is that enough? Yes, it was. Alright, I'll send you back. All my people are very sad, so I need to improve their morale. Which I'll do after I get more troops. I want those horses up there, too. All right, can I afford them now? I hope. Uh, let me get a crossbowman, another swordsman. Ugh. Great. Yeah, now my income's zero. That was that should have waited another turn. All right. Can we do some quests? Maybe some orcs. I need gold. I need it now. Fight some orcs. Hopefully. Good. I'll just simulate this battle too. Hopefully it'll simulate it nicely. And it does. Magic. Give me more rewards. Ooh, chest plate. I like that. I like it a lot. Oh, I can't wear heavy armor. Oh, I'll sell it. He's mad that I can't sell any heavy armor too. Let's go explore this guy. Oh wait, no, I can afford that extra troop now, can't I? Uh, we'll do... Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I want to do another pikeman. Alright, let's go. Try to get those horses up there.
explore. That's enough, though. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can take these. Actually, can I explore anything? No, Medusa. Screw that. Let's see if I can take these uh, horses. I like the horses. What say you? I will easily defeat this enemy, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear, we'll do this battle. I don't like this makeup too much though. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, oh, yeah, you do have something arranged, don't you? I'll take him out in a couple turns. Oh, except they have a healer too, awesome. How annoying. That guy looks not fun. A lot of damage though, so I upgraded my weapons. these guys or not. Minus five. Minus five. They're even. That's good. The healer's really going to make me mad. How much health do you have? Seven. Uh, yeah, do that. There you go. We move him up. Move him up. 610. 46. Oh, he's so close to dying. He's probably going to get healed by that healer coming over, too. Oh, good. Haha, <laughs> that was dumb. So, all I got is the healer and the other guy. Oh yeah, he's going to take him out. Oh, so close. They're totally screwed though. Stop healing yourself. Stop healing yourself. Yes, please, will kill. I think I have another spell left. Yeah. Oh, come on. Minus one. Give me a break. I'm going to lose my unit, too, probably. Give me a break. Okay, good. Yeah, you're dead. Give me my horses. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Cool. And this is like a natural barrier too. So that's good. I got my horses, which means I actually kind of want to build the stables. Because you get five income from horses. Whenever I get a hundred, which I'm actually pretty close to. Alright. Good deal. And you have all your units, although you need to heal. So I'm just going to explore. For time being. F 
nine, and eh, I don't really care. I'll check it out in a turn or two. Am I gaining like one income, or I'm actually losing an income a turn? So actually, I do need to. Uh, and we'll try that works. I know I'm like right there. Please say it's easy. Oh good. I should have attacked it to begin with. I'm just gonna automate this. Oh, come on. Three? So unfair. Got a lot of money though. Yeah, I bet I can. Which I really increased. Yeah, there goes my income. Huge increase. Plus, because of all the upkeep from the people. Alright, just go back. Alright, well, you know, that's basically the beginning of a game. You know, I'm going to go back home and re up my. Uh, my uh, army. And then the next phase is going to be going towards, like, these second level units. Uh, which are actually, they're pretty close to uh, being done. I'm just going to queue up an armory and a practice hall. Uh, and then the other need, thing I need is a fort. And then go with the guardsmen. So that'll be, you know, that'll be my build order there. Uh, and then onward and upward. So end my turn and then save. And I'll show you what a uh, kind of a mid-game uh, situation looks like. So, my start for this game has actually been pretty good. Uh, compared to some other games. Alright, that's good. Alright, we'll save this. And we'll load the other one that I was playing. But not really. Because I saved it. Pull this up real quick, and then we'll call it a day. Alright, so uh, this is an, a medium against like four other people. So there's my initial city. Expansion was really slow. I have some uh, unrest in some provinces. Uh, that's my... He's doing pretty good. I have some horse archers and... Uh, horseman, and he's uh, all the way up to level 11, so he got to specialize as a holy knight, which gives him uh, more commanding and different weapons and stuff like that. Upgraded his weapons. I have like a pretty good sword and armor and stuff that I purchased at home. You can see my tech tree is has a lot of green check marks in areas. I'm working on getting a mercenaries guild next. Uh, down over here so I can afford uh, level 3 units by building my citadel first which is prohibitively expensive so I think it's going to take kind of a lot of money for that to happen. Um, for this game I actually turned Fog of War off because I was curious to see how good the AI is. And the AI was able to expand way faster than I was. Pretty much all the AI players, you can see the little flags here, have considerably more territories than I do. Like this guy is just ridiculous. He has like 10 or 12. Uh, you know, I have like 8, I guess. Um, purple guy's getting kind of eaten up by purple, though. Uh, so, I mean, the AI expands well. I think they must have some sort of cheats that makes it easier for them to defeat the initial surrounding units because it takes a long time and some luck to kind of expand out. That's really my main complaint with the game. Uh, I like the game overall. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit more consistently easier just to expand initially out. I mean, it's fine that you can't expand out in all the areas, but, you know, the luck of finding, uh, you know, battles you can get experience from. I mean, the, the battles in your, in your, you know, your home territory should be a little bit easier, I would think. You know, especially because you're going to be starting out with, like, two units in your hero, which you can't really do much with. So... You know, I kind of wish that you were able to tailor the difficulty a little bit better in that aspect of the game. Uh, 
You know, the campaign and the random maps are great. They provide a lot of replay value. Multiplayer is a nice feature. I like being able to choose your upgrades when your units level up. And then you can pick uh, specific weapons that your heroes can wield. Uh, I like that it tells you how likely you are to win a battle before you go into it. The tactical battles can be interesting when you have a lot of different units on the battlefield. You know, you can go with ranged units or mounted units or magical units or strong melee fighters. And then you have to counteract the enemy uh, makeup when you do it. Uh, overall, the game is very, very similar to Genesis. Theodore Genesis, the first game, obviously. But for a $20 price tag, I think that the improvements uh, with primarily the graphics and the interface and some fleshing out of game features makes this a recommended title. Uh, so that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.